Hey guys. So, I haven't done anything real substantive in a while. Or as Ollie would say, I haven't done a proper 40k video in some time. So anyway, I uh, thought I'd put up uh, my Devastators. So nothing real special. Some of them are the old metal models. and uh, But the majority of them are the new plastic Devastators. Well, actually, you know what? I think uh, this is a metal model. The last gun is a metal model. That guy, of course, is plastic. And the uh, multi melter is metal. The only thing I don't like about the metal models is all the chipping. And uh, I mean, I'm sure that's got something to do with the fact that I haven't sealed it properly yet. But. Uh, Chipping drives me crazy. Even just handling the model sometimes can cause the paint to wear away, which is kind of irritating. But, uh, yeah, so this guy I kind of converted up. I got tired of all the missile launchers that were just, you know, standard on the shoulder, you know. So I did this one with them actually loading the weapon so anyway I thought it was kind of a fun conversion to do so I just shaved off the shoulder you know cut off the arm that holds the weapon shave the shoulder down cut off the hand that holds the trigger and added a, a, a bolter pistol grip and uh, took a piece of guitar uh, a guitar cord or guitar string and ran that from the uh, the power to the to the place in the shoulder pad so anyway I thought you know it's a pretty quick little conversion kind of different now of course I'll see it everywhere so, you know, now that I've done it uh, and of course you got just the standard guy <clears throat> so I didn't really know what I wanted because of course I haven't played it you know much so I kind of did a variety I'm probably going to do some more um, for the squads just so I can switch out weapons once I figure out what I like and uh, with the new edition coming out I don't know what's going to change cost wise or uh, so you know anyway better to be prepared I guess So tomorrow I play my next 500 point series in the league and I'm thinking about taking a Devastator squad because the tactical squads were great, um, of course, because they're all scoring units for like the uh, the take and hold stuff, but it's kind of pointless to give them heavy weapons. Well, I don't know. I guess that's not true. I They were static a lot. I got a lot of grief for that. So. I guess in a sense I played it, I played them fluffy because the uh, Blood Ravens catch grief for not charging and everybody was like, why aren't you assaulting? I've never seen a Marine player that doesn't assault. You know, and I thought, well, I'm not trying to play them like guard, I mean, but, you know, there's no point in rushing in there. I might just, you know, I can, if I can shoot the hell out of you for a turn or two and, and you're going to keep charging across an open field and I don't really see the advantage to charging in to meet your assault, you know, so. Anyway, just my take. But uh, anyway, so here's the sergeant. Uh, this guy was inspired by the, uh, again, by the Blood Ravens novel. There's a veteran sergeant that they've got who, I think he took a, a plasma weapon and it kind of disintegrated like half his body, kind of like a oh, Huron, I think it is, the, the Chaos guy. So, anyway, I, I did some bionics. I gave him a bionic arm I built from scratch and a bionic leg that I built from scratch. So, And all that is is copper wire and green stuff. So,
so yeah. Gave him the Chaos Sword. I kind of like those swords. They seem a little beefier, and I just there's something cool about having a, a double-edged chain sword. Just nice. So anyway, and then back here I just have the uh, sort of rank and file to fill in the squad. get this light right. Sorry about the light guys. And again I didn't set up my my light so I'm kind of fumbling with that now. I apologize for that. But yeah so nothing special with those guys. They're pretty much you know just rank and file and missing a couple of emblems. I've got to print some more off. I could do the freehand but I just kind of like the consistency. You know each one's the same so and then finally, I had mentioned this guy before. Uh, I had always liked the look of a heavy flamer. Uh, but of course the Marines don't have them. So, uh, well at least standard Space Marines. I can't remember if the Salamanders have heavy flamers or not. Anyway, uh, in the game this only counts as a standard flamer, but I just thought it looked really kind of cool to have a giant flamer, you know. So, anyway, I kind of did a custom fuel tank, converted fuel tank, I should say, and uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to set that down on the table, you know, watch people kind of go, what? What's that? That's not legal. You know, and I could tell them, oh, it counts as counts as a flamer that's going to distract you. But anyway, I just thought it would be a fun deal to, to convert up, so I took the uh, Chaos Head with the respirator, again, because it's, it's just a little beefier, it's a little, you know, cut off the top knot, and, and there you have it. Yeah. So anyway. Hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend. I know we had a, our fair share of drama this weekend. And I won't I won't belabor the points. I think they've all been covered thoroughly. But uh you know, I think Bootleg and uh, Nataku and Tony Pony all uh, all did an excellent job, you know, in uh, addressing everything that really kind of needed to be addressed. And, you know, I have a great deal of respect for all of them. You know, I think Nataku really went out on a limb, uh, put himself out there, you know, to, to, to put his personal business out there for everybody. So, you know, a lot of respect for you, Nataku. I think that's really cool. Uh, and uh, it just needed to be said, man. You did a, you did a good job. I don't think you did anything wrong. So, uh, same with Tony Pony. You know, he's very passionate, just like just like Bootleg, uh, and that's a good thing. You know. So anyway, it's kind of nice to see that you know these guys believe in, in the rest of us and support the rest of us. And if somebody steps on us, you know they're going to be there, back us up, help us out. So it's a rare thing, guys. Uh, you know, I think we should all appreciate it. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Kind of Forrest Gump. You know, that's all I have to say about that. But anyway, so that's what I've been working on. And uh, still got loads more to do, but it's looking a little more promising. You know, these this makes 20, uh, 20 Devastators. You know, so. Alright, anyway. And by the way, the, the Flamer in the back, he's not part of the... He's not part of the squad. He's just like a tactical marine. So anyway, all right, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. But oh, one thing I, I did want to say, uh, I got, I've noticed that I have gotten a lot more subscribers, and I appreciate every one of you guys. I know I haven't said that uh, probably enough. I think it's really cool that you guys value what I'm doing enough to subscribe. 
uh, and enough to watch my videos. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.